Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anovella. You know that uh, it's full-on non-fiction November and Olive from A Book Olive has given us four prompts to read non-fiction. Uh, uh, secret, Order, um, what was it in the other element? And Record, yeah. And I was wondering why don't we do also a version in fiction? So the first prompt I will do is secret. And I immediately thought of a Lady Audley Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. Here you are. In this outlandish, outrageous triumph of scandal fiction, ooh, beloved bit of a scandal, a new Lady Audley arrives at the manor, young, beautiful, and very mysterious, aren't we all? And then, why does she behave so strangely? What exactly is the dark secret this seductive outsider carries with her? <laughs> so yeah. This I will read too. Only nonfiction. That's a bit boring. And then I also thought of Elizabeth Gaskell's Tales of Mystery and the Macabre. So these are short stories, mysterious short stories and supernatural stories full of mystery and secrets. And then I also thought of Pine by Francine Toon. This one is set in the Highlands and Lauren and her father Neil drive home. They live in alone in the, uh, in the forest and on the Halloween night they see a, a girl and um, uh, they uh, drive her home, back home. And when uh, Lauren gets up in the morning, the girl has disappeared and she doesn't know who to trust. What has her father done? What secrets does he hide? <laughs> then I also thought, I don't know if you've seen my um, coffee clutch last Sunday, where I raved about uh, Hunting for the Little Pike by Johanni uh, Carilli, uh, a Finnish author. I also thought of Johanna Sinisalo. And this is not before sundown, and it's about a young photographer who finds a troll. But what he doesn't know is that a troll uh, excludes pheromones that smell like Calvin Klein aftershave and have a profound aphrodisiac effect on all those around the troll. <laughs> But what Michael and others who come into contact with the troll fail to learn, with tragic consequences, is that the troll is the interpreter of man's darkest and most forbidden desires and secrets. Ah, must be a great read. I'm gonna read this one this month. Another secret book is the Wonder by Emma Donahue. So this is about a little girl, uh, a woman uh, named uh, Lib Wright. She's a nurse, and she is asked to uh, look out for a girl, or not look out to to observe a girl who is eleven years old, Anna O'Donnell, and she hasn't eaten anything since months, and still she thrives, and of course. Uh, Lip thinks it's a hoax, so she assumes that she will uh, discover, uh, uncover the, the hoax right away, but hmm, things are way more mysterious and secret than you would think. So yeah, why is the girl thriving? Is she eating in secret or not? And hmm, what is the girl hiding? Uh -uh. And then I also thought of Laura Purcell, the corset. 
Uh, never read this. Uh, it was given to me as a gift for a birthday present. So, Dorothea the true love is young, wealthy, and beautiful. Aren't we all? And Ruth Rutherham is young, poor, and awaiting trial for murder. That's definitely not us. So, when Dorothea the Dorothea's uh, terrible work leads her to Oakgate Prison. She finds herself drawn to Ruth, a teenage seam seamstress and self-confessed murderess who nurses a dark and uncanny secret. Mm -mm -mm. A secret that is leading her straight to the gallows. As Ruth reveals her disturbing past to Dorothea, the fates of these women entwine. And with every revelation, a new layer of doubt is cast. Can Ruth be trusted? Is she mad or is she a murderer? That's it. That's my secrets, November. Uh, I will do uh, one with the other prompts later on. And uh, yeah, looking forward to see you Sunday for the Coffee Clutch. Bye-bye.